This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The H lookup formula, where the H stands for horizontal, well, is exactly the same syntax as the V lookup formula, the only difference being the makeup of the actual lookup table. So if we take our lookup formula, it requires the same four parameters. The first of those is the criteria. So what's the cell reference or the value that you're going to look up in your table? So if we were to take our little guy here in the red jacket, he would be our criteria. Where is the lookup table? This can be in the same sheet, a different sheet, a named cell reference. This is our lookup table. Now you'll notice that the data is actually stored horizontally. So our first row effectively is the lookup row. So we take our little man in red and look him up in the first row of the data. And then we find him, he's there. The third part of our H lookup is now treated as column to return when it should really be row to return. Because we're looking up our little guy in red in the first row, and we then look down the column to find the row that you're after. So in here, you would just put a reference. Three, for example, would return his age of 42. Now, just like the column reference, the row reference has no connection whatsoever with the row numbers. And that's probably a little harder to follow than the columns because the columns are letters anyway, but the rows are numbers. These numbers are internal to the lookup table. Within your spreadsheet, they might be rows 3007, 3008, 3009, 3010. Within the lookup table, they would still be row one, two, three, four. And your criteria is always located in row one. So whatever value you're looking up, our guy in the red jacket, must be located in row one. You then come down that column to find the correct row reference that you're after based on the value in this third parameter. So effectively the row to return. That then is brought back to the cell that calls this function. Now again, the true and false part here, the fourth parameter is false if it must be an exact match. So this guy must be wearing this red jacket, pinkish tie and browny hair, not a close approximation. If it was a close approximation, then they would be true. And the nearest match would then be the value that got returned. Just like the VLOOKUP, true is used when you're trying to look up between a range, usually of numeric values, not little guys in colored jackets. So it's HLOOKUP, first parameter is the criteria. So the cell reference or the typed in criteria that you're going to look for within your lookup table in the first row. So the criteria must always exist in this first row. Then we need the row to return. So we come down the column that finds your match and then you return whichever row number you're after. One, two, three or four in this case. That's the number that goes here. And then true or false. False being used for an exact match. True for an approximation.